Okay, it's LSF time, dude. The only Austin Wando over the fucking Gooners, bravo, yeah. It's LSF time, Arsenal's coming home. Uh oh, the logs. He's a 13 month sub lane, you cannot do it. What are you doing? You're not gonna bam in Asmund's chat. Stop, stop. Get the fuck out of my way. Stop. You're not gonna bam in Asmund's chat. Asmund will let me do that. Melina, you cannot. This is a, you can't do this. You're getting in trouble. Stop. Oh God, I don't give a fuck. Stop. You're actually not even, you are not banning the right person. You're not, you're literally copying and pasting the wrong name. Stop. Stop. You're, it's literally. Who's he banning? What did he do? I, I believe this game has something crazy in it. Ban there. Uh oh, the logs. He's a 13 month sub lane. You cannot do it. Made fun of Milena. The pace of the comments on this LSF thread for Milena was literally above top tier drama for the Pepe Le D. It was like 250 comments under four. Wait, really? Oh, Chatters got mad at Milena. Oh my God, post is locked. Guys, I hope you have different usernames on Twitch. Ha ha ha. True Oro's out there reading all the comments, banning people in the chat for her leader, Milena. Nick asked Milena, why are you always so mad? I typed the chat, she's getting mad for two, as in Nick never gets angry, got banned. The fat shaming hun is real. Wait, they thought... You thought they were fat shaming him? What happened? Oro's out of control and has been for a while, and if Milena can't take a joke or a comment, just don't read the chat. And if he's content's been getting spare lately and his mods and Milena don't help, what the fuck? Some dude said all Milena does is eat shit and sleep, so she banned him everywhere she could. Good. Why do chatters unironically say the worst shit, okay? Like, there is a habit with Twitch chat where you try to fucking mathematically find the most, like, scathing take that you can have. You literally watch us for hours and hours and hours a day trying to figure out what, like, the insecurities that might work like that might be oh, as chat. penetrating as possible and you fucking drop it in the chat and then you drop it with the expectation that the, the streamer is going to notice and then as soon as the streamer fucking notices and takes action you're like oh what the fuck dude why can't you lighten up dude like why can't you lighten up and take the fucking abuse dude you fucking stupid idiot you can ban whoever the fuck she wants our chat is so stupidly entitled it's just so annoying I hope you see this and it makes you smile. Thanks. Why can't they take a joke, though? It's not funny, dickhead. That's why. Woman moment. Why can't they take a joke, though? It was a joke, dud. Here you go. Six-month subscriber. Permanently banned. Fuck my cock. How about you take that as a joke? What do you mean, woman moment? It's the cross-banning that people don't like? Why? Good. The cross bannings are a problem, you pre brain P brain. Why? Why is there suddenly a hashtag chatters rights movement? All the controversial ones are the sane ones, dude. They like downvoted all of them. I don't understand the level of investment on this. First time commenting on LSF because I'm so confused. When you get banned from a channel, you no longer see the chat. A lot of people who use Twitch sometimes get entertainment slash joy out of feeling included and interact with chat. The guy was banned in multiple chats for a seemingly harmless joke. So people don't want it to be acceptable. Not sexism. They did the same with Greek. No, I'm saying the sexist part is him saying it's a woman moment. They did do the same thing with Greek. I don't get it. When someone is a piece of shit in, in one streamer's chat, they're probably a piece of shit in other streamer's chats too. Like, what, what are people saying? Like, oh, no, dude, I'm just a fucking dickhead in this person's chat, but that person's friend's chat... I'm actually the best chatter. Oh man, lol, that poor schmuck worked and paid you for six months and you banned him. Feels bad, man. 
I didn't even ban him because he said anything about me. I banned him because he was just like saying it's a woman moment. 15 months why am I like, yeah, has mullets. That's why I banned him. He most likely forgot to fucking put a cap or a grug W or some shit. And he's probably going to fucking reach out to the bans, uh, mods immediately and be like, I'm sorry. I should have made it clear that I that's not what I meant. I was just like making fun of the people that were saying that. I'm a six month subscriber. You can check my logs. It's literally like 90% of the logs that we look at after the stream. Hassle. Can I say this as someone who like relishes in the abuse? Don't get me wrong. I love this shit. You know what I mean? I, I, I sit here and take abuse all fucking day. Defending streamer friends again, typical. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, like eight months. I mean, people everybody here chat, knows. Everybody here knows. People happy high chat. Don't know why. Everybody here knows. I ban motherfuckers on a whim. Chat, you know. I also will. Uh, what do you call it? I also will like entertain dumbasses too. And even keep pets. When your life is so easy, you get mad about not seeing a bunch of frogs on a screen? Yeah, like, straight up. From the chatter's point of view, they're like, oh, you're ruining my entertainment. You know what I mean? You're ruining my entertainment. I can't chat. It's like, well, you lost that privilege. But from the streamer's point of view, it's like, it's fucking annoying. And it harbors, uh, it, it creates like a toxic environment in the chat. Streamers have every right to fucking do that. And even go beyond... Um, go beyond too and like ban them from fucking their friends chats and shit like that take it up with Gold if you don't want people uh banning you in their chat you know what i mean it's not a hassan stream without five plus bans try 50 dude i mean I, I i look i love doing the public executions and it seems like you guys too you enjoy it. <sighs> Cross banning is bad because I want as few consequences for acting like an asshole as possible. Been around longer than two months, but happy to be a subber now. Who sucks with the mod listening to Milena not to unban him as a hate thread? Not cool. Wait, what? This is a Milena hate thread. If I ever saw one, holy shit, Milena's the reason Nick gets out of bed and does the daily streams without her. The stream would be dead. She comes up with half the content and does everything for stream. Of course, she's going to be mad about being called lazy. I would too. By the way, I know people are going to say like uh, this person is a simp or whatever, but it's 100% true. I mean, Nick is brilliant and he's really fucking funny. I like both of them, but like it's ridiculous the fucking relentlessly shit on Milena. Nine months. She is. I get banned in Texas chat. I'm gonna mauled, but here goes full context. Maybe we should get a dog walker. Combo between Nick and Melina. Chatter says Baker Derek. Melina should do it. She just eats, sleeps, and shit all all day. Banned in all Texas streamers chats. Extra content. The guy that got blocked by Melina in April for being a fucking shithead. That's why she actually did it. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Also, on top of that, what is this? Wait, that page doesn't exist. I don't know why you sent that link to me, but that link doesn't work. Dude, fucking rapid fire, dude. Look at that. Read the preview, himbo. Why can't you defend Hayden Ross with the same energy you defend Milena? Sorry, dog. That's where we part ways. Some chat a man white hype when you could just lurk. I for, where is it? RTBA. Link it again. Over tweet in chat. Arena, he's deleted it. The world doesn't revolve around you. You chose to be on Twitch, not the other way around. You haven't lived in the real world, nor have ever had a hard life, and it shows greatly. You have the easiest life in the world worrying about the stuff. It's insane. April 12th, 2021. 
Just like a fucking hate watcher to me. He's a YouTuber, by the way. Wait, really? You're a hypocrite. Don't pick and choose. Oh, my God. There are some idiots. There are some idiots in the chat that, like, look at a sarcastic take. They look at a fucking sarcastic take from one chatter. And then we'll take it seriously and unironically be like, yeah, he has 500k subs. I have to no understand when... What the fuck? He's like a motocross guy. Why is he such a the dickhead? John, we all want the theory stream Bro, if he's a streamer, why is he being such a dickhead? Check Baker Derek. There's no shot he said anything in here. Oh, he has. He has, dude. What is this? Bye bye, LMAO. True. Lots of mad people inbound. Pago, Nodders. My girl drives that. Lol. Twitch Turbo, LMAO. Why even bother selling it? What the fuck? Lol. Pago was on. That chin, though. Monka stare. Damn right, K okay, cool, damn right. Damn, this dude was in here July 4th and, and everything. He actually does seem very normal here. Now I feel bad. But no, but he like clearly. Been doing YouTube for 14 years, old. it's just a worthless game. No one cares, lol. Throw it at her face, actually fucking disgusting. Looks like literal dog shit. Hi. Nick's tired from sitting on his ass for five hours. Split it amongst them all. He's a streamer. Why aren't you defending him? Damn, this dude's been following for a while, dude. Can you explain why transgender people in sports isn't an issue? Be I fair, just you are not a woman. They say that the physical difference between men and women is vastly different. He's a 13 month sub to NMP placing a bad joke at the wrong the time. Truth. Thank you. Yeah, I look, I don't know, I don't know what uh this clown found out. He has some internet clown, so now he's taking thoughts, lol. You think I give a fuck about a dude with 500k subs? Are you fucking stupid? Dude, you, oh my lord, dude. Oh my fucking lord. This is the type of dude that is just like the easiest fucking, easiest ban of all time. 500k subscribers on YouTube? Like, Swag. what are you, stupid? Is Rust still a thing? Found out he's been around just because the first time Chad heard of him. Listen. um, Okay, so here's what I was going to say. He watches or something else. He seems to be jealous of other people's success and is hiding behind. No one cares. I mean, Happy eight months the hassle. tweet from before, the tweet at Milena from like way back, that's really fucking stupid. Right. Um, that one is really fucked up. The tweet that's significantly more fucked up than like him likely trolling here, like he does with Nick as well as Milena. See you know what I'm saying?
Like, I feel like he's, uh... People just shit on Nick and Melina. Nick is more nice about how he deals with it, isn't as aggressive, but Melina is very Sigma about how she deals with hate comments. Look, anonymous gifter, thank you. Um, fuck, it's fake beef. Melina is just as Melina is just as important to the stream as Nick is. But for some reason, people want to debate whether Melina can choose who to ban if she wants, as if she has no right. No, I think people are mad that, like, uh, I think people are mad that Melina banned him across the platform. Which, again, it's an I issue have, that you I have, have to fucking, it's an issue that you have to take up with, like, literally everyone uh, uh, that is allowing that to happen, rather than just, like, Melina. Nick didn't agree with banning him at all, just was giving you more info because you don't get to see that from the clip. Personal hate towards her, maybe. She said some shit about him, and then he went on to hate her. Thank you, Just Kenneth, for the 50 gifted subs. What the fuck? Love you, bro. Thanks for the amazing content. I don't know, man. I kind of think it's a little overkill. Oh, the point I was going to make is this, right? It feels like it feels like this person is probably going through some bad sh uh, bad time, bad times. Like I can sense the resentment that he feels. Been doing YouTube for fourteen years, alone. It's just a worthless game. I don't know what the fucking deal is, but a lot of times chatters just take it out, like on the streamer. Take out their own anxieties, take out their own frustrations on the streamer, and just like create a more toxic environment. If you don't watch Nick's stream, you won't understand that he was joking. There's a lot of banter. Nick has a doomsday protocol where he has like 100 streamers who agree that they will cross ban people. If he talks shit, he permits you across the entire platform with a script or whatever, pretty based. And yeah, Nick is a psycho, dude. He's, he's the founder of polemism. Pretty sure I've got no timeouts. Lowe's friends ban people and Lowe's chat for being assholes in their chat. I think that's legit. I get this a little different here, but it seems like in a similar vein. It just seems bitter. Probably uh, the only reason why I say that and don't say beyond like, uh, and don't say that like uh, he was just trolling in the wrong place in the wrong time is because The only reason why I say he just seems bitter, he seems bitter against uh, Milena somehow, other than like, oh, he just thought he was like doing a little bit of light trolling, which is acceptable on Nick's stream, clearly, is because of the tweet. E -e 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 -e. I didn't think a simple joke would make her so sensitive a minute. I watch every day and was a 13 month sub, so obviously I'm not some rando saying she needs to learn to take it. If she's always dishing it, doesn't look good for her character. Oh my God, dude. Dude, this is literally the worst thing you can do. It's actually the worst thing you can do. Terrible take. Streamers do almost no work, but still take all the subs hard earned money only to ban them and take away their chatting rights as other streamers and harmless jokes instead of doing the right the thing by playing the top of the hour. Ad break! Fuck! Fuck! No! You're like a great name too! I thought this was gonna be fucking the dumbest take ever! No! Okay, dude. Nine months and I've never been less engaged. More VODs than live now. BC, I'm too busy feeling hot, getting late, and doing good drugs. Fuck! Thanks for being here when I needed something parasocial to get through the hard times. <laughs> other people got baited. Like other people got baited. Look at this. Look. 
Red Butt Live, literally writing a fucking, writing a response to the chatter, dude. Like, people were ready, dude. People were ready to be like, fuck you. <laughs> so good. Okay, fair, dude. That was actually very good. 27 Oh, months it's long. literally like, it's like a gray name, too. Like, I just, I actually thought, like, this is, it's coming in. Someone's coming in to be like, chatter's rights, chatter's rights. Has Discord started a segue factor or something? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Wow, dude. Okay, being a 13 month sub doesn't absolve you of any uh, sin, even though the, the actions here could literally be uh, subject to interpretation. It's not like the end of the world, this. I don't know if that's like an ongoing meme or something, because like in my eyes, like Melina is such a fucking. How do I describe it? Like, I mean, literally shield maiden that I I can't even comprehend this as anything as, as like anything but a sarcastic quip. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Yes, I hate the Oilers and are given. Yes, I hate the Oilers are like, I've given 1,200 to you, so I should be immune. There's literally not. Like, I would not have unbanned Lil Krish, even though he gave me like fucking 100 gifted subs yesterday, if he hadn't done, if he hadn't written that funny ass fucking Hi, guy. Uh, a Google Doc earlier today. For me, I care about if you're funny and, and like, if, you, if I ban you for like trolling, if you're funny and you uh, demonstrate it in a funny way, that was Donate literally what we used to chat. use. Okay, buddy, Hassan for half the time my Reddit was like about people writing like funny ass unban uh, requests for making videos. There is no pay to win here at all. Hi. I can't believe I've spent this much time on like one random fucking chatters, random ass takes. You would have gotten more subs if you didn't unban him. I mean, that's never going to work. What? 13 month sub, $65 investment, not worth a cross ban? Bro, are you crazy? Like, actually, are you, are you nuts, dude? They, Nick and Milena get like 30K live viewers a stream, dude. What the fuck? Like, can you imagine? Like, this doesn't compare, but like, can you imagine going up to a fucking like comedian or something after Madison Square Garden, heckling them and then being like, Dog, I just paid $65 for a ticket. Like, you're not going to, like, sit here and take it? These guys literally have 30,000 people in their chat every day, dude. W what are you, nuts? Like. You didn't even write it? He filled out the essay template that was linked under your tweet? What? Me bullying Gus Johnson after his show. So, um, I think he meant it wasn't worth spending 65 just to end up getting cross banned, but he got cross banned not because he spent $65. He got cross banned because he was, I think it was in the wrong place at the wrong time or the wrong attitude in the wrong time because like his actions, look, I can't fucking judge it. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not Melina in that time. So I don't know what, what was going on through her, her mind to like, you know, put together such a strong punitive measure here. I, on, in theory, I have no problem with fucking cross platform bands or, or cross uh, streamer bands at all. Okay. Uh, ultimately who cares? 100%. Well, t obviously Twitch chatters care because this is like a, this is like a chatter's rights uh, moment for a lot of like LSF commenters who probably have like toxic ass fucking takes every now and then. <sighs> what else was I going to say? But I think 
ultimately the worst shit is like his i guess months. apology which was not really an apology months. at all Man, I cannot and wait, also on top of that the way that he was like tweeting at melena beforehand i don't know if she knew that or not she might have recognized his name from the fact that he's already he's also a fucking twitch streamer slash like youtuber and uh, that might have been the reason why uh he got he caught like a cross-platform one Best stream, best takes, best sequence has blocked. This clown found out. Oh, wait. I fucking... Dude, that segue was so good. I forgot to run the fucking ad. That segue from the chatter was so good. I literally forgot to run the ad. You fucking... Uh, you like... Pre -pre -pee -pee. You like hit me in the fucking soft spot of my head or something. Like, I just... Here's the ad break now. Holy shit. At Hussein Abbey, I have spent 13 months and expect no bans from this Wait, what is this? as a valued customer. As a Hassan viewer, it is hilarious to see Chaz so worked up about one dude getting banned for saying something dumb. Omega oh, lol. Yo, that's hilarious, dude. Dude, I Nick talks about Nick talks a big game about polemism, but the real polemism occurs in my chat every day. It's fucking carnage, dude. I literally I, I just I do I do Hussein public square execution. I literally will pull someone into the public square. That was me. Yeah, 12 months sub. Of course he knows, dude. <laughs> yeah, polemism. Nick talks about how he's going to pull people into the meat grinder. When, like, there's so much shit that goes on here where I would, like, literally just pull you into the fucking public square and just put two in the back of your head and just, like, kick you out. Yeehaw, brother, I found out that COVID is a lie. People here are crying and humiliating themselves and I get clapped. Now. No, actually, this this community is like, a, you know, they, they thrive on it, dude. They literally thrive on it. Are you kidding me? They love that shit. They're bloodthirsty. They love seeing the chat guillotine executions. One time I was actually pissed. You can... Y'all can people who are agreeing with you, but clip moved on. It seems like there's talking about something else. <sighs> it's such bullshit. I watched three months on main and got banned for saying some Come stupid shit about two genders. Okay. Well, you know, you can get unbanned if you're no longer transphobic. Dude, when I do, I got to do unbanned requests again, man. It's been a long fucking time. It's been so long since I've done unban requests. There's people, every time I do an unban request, there's motherfuckers that like literally have been watching. They've been banned for like 13 months and they're still watching. They're like, dude, please unban me. Like when I came in here, I was transphobic. Okay. And you banned me for good reason. I'm now like, I'm now a non-binary communist. Like I've been in here for 13 months. Like I just want to be able to chat again. I haven't done a fucking banana peel in so long, dude. We got to do we got, we got to do Ten rehabilitation over incarceration change. soon. I think you've done it once since I started watching cuz it's so ridiculous. And also, it's like intensive on the mods and I don't like that. I don't like making mods do shit beyond, like, you know, basic stuff. It's also top of the hour. I already ran it. Look what Train said. Typical Hassan sub. So Yo. fucking embarrassing. Your logic is so backward and flawed. It makes me go nuts. But then again, you falling for the BS that you do. You have to be stupid. <laughs> Train talks so much shit, dude. Haircut looking like Moses. Last one was like uh, with Sasha a year ago. Yeah, I know. Yo. Fucking train, dude. Miski was doing pokey ban appeals and motherfuckers were just saying, I'm nutting to you. Yours is just like dog shit Republican takes. <laughs> Me.
Yeah, that's true. Or backseat eating. I ban people for Love saying like nine months. Like has. earlier today, I banned someone who was like, "Why are you only taking ten bites before you swallow?" Like, bitch, I'm an adult human being. Like, I've been alive for fucking twenty nine years, about to be thirty years old, and you are basically like recently not a protein anymore. Okay, you recently developed thought. Okay, learned how to walk on your two feet like last week. And you're in my chat being like, why are you taking 10 bites before you swallow? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I think I'm doing all right. Motherfucker's like, chew more, dude. It's crazy to me. Anyway, it's pretty funny that there is a lot of drama around like fucking someone getting banned though. Every day is Murder Reacts Day. Every day is Drama Day. Why is it never Gaming Day? Weeby, if you want me to fucking play games again, make a good game, okay? Go literally develop a game and bring it here in, in front of me, and I will play it. Face Banks caught lying again. Oh, brother. What the fuck did he do now? Pronouns? American. Thief Biden. Happy nine months. I have an idea. Let's pump and dump a coin that's worth 0 0.001 and buy 20k worth and tell my fans to buy it so the price shoots up. I can make 10k in 20 minutes. Oh, I'm not a financial advisor, so you guys can't get screwed. Not my fault. I never sold my B social, not a single dollar of it. Lol, you're just wrong. Lol, my wallet's public. You can go see for yourself. I've never sold a single dollar worth of BS social. B social. And I was crystal clear on Instagram that I wouldn't until at least 10x is never sold a single dollar's worth. So, so I said this yesterday. And we're still here. Not a rug pull whatsoever. Team is still working hard and making huge developments. No hate Almost against banks at all. We just want to make sure people know we're not dead. Good content. So we looked at this yesterday, right? And I feel like what happened is... I feel like what happened is, in the end, either like bank social was also kind of fucked. Like they were the ones who set up the rug pull. Or... Or every single one of FaZe Bank's friends did a, a pump and dump where he didn't do it foolishly. It's like, unfortunately, when it comes to cryptocurrency, when it comes to cryptocurrency, there is a line between like, maybe this was just a shit altcoin or it was a pump and dump. And either or, it doesn't fucking matter. This is just for, it's for suckers, regardless. It does have his name in it. If he's down 20K, he may just be one of the suckers. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe he's just, like, fucked up. Melina tells Nick she is fine. What's wrong? I just love you so much, Melina. Everything about you. Hey, thank you for being you. Dude. Aw. Am I too close to you? You don't have to comfort me. I'm not sad. I know, but I just want you to know that you are my everything. You see that? We did it. There you go. Aw. Just kidding. <laughs> John Zarka bullies his brother, well, instantly regrets it. Oh, <laughs> wait, this motherfucker is back, dude? Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> this guy, bro. I heard you're fighting Mayweather next, you little. How much you weigh? 180. 180? Look at you, bro. Uh -huh. Look at you. You're nobody. John's brother. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, dude. What oh, the fuck? That's, that's awesome. John's brother. Oh, <laughs> oh destroyed, dude. Yeah, fuck. you fucking deserved it. Get fucked, bitch.
Uh, we already saw this. I clicked on this. Oh, I, I clicked on this earlier today. Lily Pichu makes an extended waiting for Hassan jammies. We saw... Uh, why is this actually catchy? Because she's pretty good at making music. Here's the original. She improvised and Hassan's reaction. Austin Ox is like, just... You are such a fucking... For as ethical as you are with your vegan shit, you are so unethical with how big of a karma hog you are, dude. I swear to God. What a fucking karma farmer, dude. It's great, but I love the first accidental version because it was played a little slower and hit right. She's increased the tempo just to quickly show how it would all fit together rather than how it actually is supposed to sound. Yeah, Lily's awesome. What is this? Yeah, and he's like, oh, we're waiting for somebody. And just casually carries this conversation with this cute waitress. Not even that long, maybe 20 seconds. Until literally she is so into him by the end of 20 seconds of conversation that the conversation's done, he's on his phone. And she's just standing there practically for a solid like six or seven seconds, like just hoping he'll continue the conversation. And I'm sitting right here like, what? Uh, oh my God, this is happening. But then it gets even better because while she's waiting, Hassan is now on the phone with Austin saying how he can get into the restaurant. And then he says, yeah, just look for the cute waitress that's going to come up and say, hey. And I'm like, oh my fucking. I did say that. Has mods, has mods, has mods, has Motherfuckers mods. be like, Hassan, you're just attractive. You don't know how to talk to women's. <laughs> I know how to talk to women's. I read all the PUA blogs on Reddit. That's you, chat. Whenever you're like, huh, you don't know how to be smooth to women. God, this son of a bitch. This fucking guy. And then she like blushes and is like, ah. And then she goes and gets Austin. And I'm just it like, was kind of it was kind of a bummer though, because she was no longer like by the time we were done eating, she wasn't she wasn't there. Was her quarantine eventful? Fuck you, woman protector. Okay, yeah. I, I I'm not hitting like I'm not batting uh an insane number all the time, okay? Like no one is a no one is always gonna get home runs every time. Some of them suck, okay? Stuff but from my losses, all I have learned are lessons. Do you understand? For me. Hassle. My old ass uncle was using this line 35 years ago. Maybe she left because she saw you don't chew your food. Yeah, no, that's not what happened. Dude, they got banned for saying cutie is fat and Aiden's chat blames Jake and Bake for Aiden's ban. I mean, yeah, of course he's going to say that. You just got the dude permanently banned, bro, just to bring attention to something that's happened to you in the past. That's fucked up, G. Okay. Let me just say, let me just say something here, okay? From the last remaining W streamer on the platform, because, like, I just want to say that you know, now that Aiden's banned, like, I'm the only W streamer, so, uh, you know, I kind of feel bad, but like, you know, I got to keep the mantle going with no disrespect, you know, this is just how W streamers be. It's whatever. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but listen, 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 as the last W streamer on the platform, Aiden Ross is not permanently banned. Don't be fucking ridiculous. Like, either he doesn't know how this works, which is very likely, or, or uh, he's just juicing it for content. Of course he's not permanently banned. That would be fucking preposterous, okay? That would be fucking preposterous. If Twitch banned him permanently for that, I would be fighting uh, for him, okay? That's all I'm going to say as the only W streamer on the platform currently. Yeah. OK. 
Okay, let me fix this real quick. Also, his return stream is going to be huge. Let the banner hit the corner, Azan. You Are you watermarking your clip, LMFAO? Yes. <sighs> anyway, Connor Holy is right. Shit. That did happen. Holy shit. I have so much to learn. I have so much to learn. Yeah, and he's like, oh, What's the W for? Can I get a W waitress number? Oh, God, please stop. Are you intentionally torturing us with that banner? No, it's because it's like my original artwork, and I want everybody to fucking know. Miss says the record straight for Miskiff with his race card. Oh, shit. I fucking... I heard Miskiff got canceled yesterday for being a racist. Is this true? You know, Miz, I'm really offended that you would fucking compare my strong black heritage to a sweet, desserty treat, okay, dude? That is unacceptable, all right? You need to start referring to me by half black African American, half Syrian uh, adult male, Miz, because this is unfucking acceptable, buddy. And then the of course it's a joke. Next dude. time you expose me for not being a fucking cringe lord virgin on the internet, I will literally ruin your career. I will cancel you with my power. The power of the race card, Miz. So you better watch your fucking step, Buster. Dude, I need to be forceful on this issue. Please read, it's important. Dude, play Mafia That's 2 is really dope. Mafia one was so cool. You should pick it up. I won't. I would let a perma ban you on liking. At least pull it. <laughs> Dude, I need to stress this issue. Yo, this isn't a joke. It's serious, one bro. Year, what? It's been a good year of content. Hassle, hassle. Oh, he's like. Guys, they're, they're friends. I don't know if you know this. Like, he, he's, of course, joking. What, and what was. What did. What did uh, Miskiff even say? What did he say? He's a handsome milk chocolate man or something? Isn't that what he said? I just like... Miss kids were fried that day. Also, chatters are forgetting that Miskiff is POC. He's Italian. Here's God. And from New Jersey. And you're ableist if you criticize him. And stalkers, every single I will not elaborate on why you're ableist if you criticize him further. Stalkers, gawkers, and stalkers. Every single one. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding behind screens. That's okay. I, I purposely get out so I could get away from all that crap. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But it's a lovely way to broadcast to China. Is this going no. back to? No. No? Where does it go to? What the fuck? Bro, this is the point where it's like, it's acceptable to pepper spray. I mean, which is the problem because if you're a woman and you pepper spray a dude like this, They could get agitated and he can come after you. You know what I mean? Still have a trigger warning in your title? Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the issue. Which is, this is like one of the million different things that happen to fucking women on a daily basis, okay? And, uh, you know... Yeah. 
fascinated by every little thing about the city, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they love New York. Right? Like a real character like me. Get New York. You never know who, who you're gonna, who's you going to who's going to pop up at the pier, right? Yes, we are That's good losers, content for you, though. I and I don't get paid. At least Boogie Bob pays me Chalupa. Are you going to take me out for Chalupa now? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love your channel. Not at all. I mean, that's just the most sane New Yorker, dude. <laughs> like, that is unironically just fucking. That's just like a, a, a New York ass Bonnelly experience. Get banned for anything Losers, bunch of lurkers and gawkers. Have fun. Find some Wuhan for evolution. Yeah, that's what you say. What did he say? Want to go back to Wuhan? Yeah, just fucking, just straight up. Hey, that's New York, baby. Pathetic loser. That's really fucked up, and a, a racist piece of shit, of course. You get genuinely get used to this as a woman living in New York. Unplug is Ugh. least racist New Yorker. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to finish it off on a high note, dude. He was like, oh, before I forget, let me just, let me just be racist as fuck one more time if you didn't get it. He said lurkers. He knows Twitch. I bet he was stream sniping and then realized everyone hates him IRL. I think he said LARPers, probably. The dude was shouting out his YouTube channel? Wait, what? LSF is more mad at Malena than this guy? <laughs> Little Krish. See? You're capable of being funny without fucking spamming the same rice cub. Uh, a clip over and over again, dude. That's actually a very good, very Love solid take. Has. You're right. LSF literally does not give Go a fuck ahead. about this dude. <laughs> True. Look at that, dude. What is it? 800 upvotes seven hours ago. 10,000 upvotes 11 hours ago. I wonder why. The dictionary definition of a knobhead. Cringiest fucking guy ever. I'm not a subscriber, but if you add it animated emails, not only will I sub, you will make over 46k other subs Eight very happy. Bodies. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'll do it soon. Where is XQC? Uh, where is XQC? Um, if I had to guess where XQC is right now, if I just had to take a wild guess, he is probably knee deep in Adept's butthole. Uh, where is XQC? Oh, Pago Palom. Pago Palom. Simple, aggressive, a op, ace versus renegades. It doesn't get easy for running it. They've got to keep this consistent. Oh. Long control has been fine for Na'Vi so far throughout this CT side. Oh, oh nice shot from Simple. Alistair goes for the fight. Unable to get the kill. And Simple isn't happy with one. He wants oh. even more and he gets the shot through the oh. door. Another shot lands. Simple looking for it. He finds a headshot. Simple me? just. Taken over. Dude, it should be illegal for Russians to play CSGO. I don't know if it's because, like, real life CSGO. That's a vac. Oh, he's Ukrainian? Sorry. Okay, guys, don't get mad at me. I, I didn't know. I My bad. Holy fuck. Oh, he has a Ukrainian flag right there. Oh, my God. That's so 
Uh, the flag is right there. Listen, that was a Putin moment, okay? I just, I just had a certified Vladimir Putin moment. I apologize. I like didn't notice. I just thought it. I it fucking it fuck you, okay? I'm being Slavophobic. Not all Slavic countries are Russia. This is Hassan Abi coming out as a tanky. Wow. That's even worse. He said, you just crimea right now. Oh, he's going for more, Dinko. He's going for more. Simple's hitting all the headshots with the orb. That's and it's insane. gonna be the ace. Simple puts Na'Vi to 15. He just fights everyone. I don't know what you can do to deal with Simple when he's decided it's his round. He eats them up one by one, shots through the door. When they're not peeking into him, he goes and finds That's so nasty. his prey. That's crazy, dude. What a psycho. Lily opens a gift on stream. Uh-oh. Can I open it? Oh, this is so cute. What Nine the heck? Fog. It says Lily... Ow! Can I open it? Wait, I missed... Oh, this is so cute. What the heck? It says Lily... Ow! Can I oh, open God. it? Oh, this is so cute. What the heck? Ah! Yeah, I got a mini fridge at my desk. What of it, dude? Half a food can you? My fucking brew skis, dude. Hey, Hassan, we can see the number from the slash. Shut up, dude. Sometimes it creeps in. Aiden Ross fans threatening Jake Hold and Bake. Hold on there. You're lo you're, this guy literally said, you're lucky not, I'm not in LA anymore or I will beat your ass. That's literally what he said this right here. <sighs> RTBA, where's the live stream fails clip? We have to pull it up. I know you were spamming it earlier. Bro, he's got he's got fucking shooters, dude. He's got shooters. This is a genuine threat. Don't miss out. Don't mess with the hood, dude. The hood. You mean do I need to enlarge this for you? Like, there's no way, dude. Like, come on, man. I could be blindfolded with both my hands tied behind my back. Like, and you your parents would have to sign a consent form because <laughs> he's gonna beat Jake's ass, but it's past curfew. Listen. If I didn't have civics homework to finish right now, I would be beating your fucking ass right now. I would be cyberbullying you so hard. I'd go to jail if they didn't, you know? Like, that's fucked up, man. Like, come on, man. You don't gotta be like that. That's weird. Just fucking Jesus, man. The hood watchers at home. Just like. Yo. This kind of ages of you, to be honest. You shouldn't laugh at that. So the thing is, like, I said this already. I think Aiden Ross is just young, dude. Okay. I, I think he's just young. And sometimes I feel bad when I watch clips of his because I feel like people bully him a lot. But I guess he's made content out of that. So it's whatever. Plus he has like 100k people, but... Uh, watching him, but... You know, he could... He's not that young, almost my age. He's 20 young. Yeah, motherfucker, 20 is young, dude. 20 is so young. Are you guys crazy? Rappers and chatters bullying him is like 99% of his content. Yeah. He supports the LG community. How can we hate him? Yeah. When he's young as fuck, dude. I'm just going to be honest. Like, I know you guys are even younger than 20, which is crazy. Like, some of you are literally younger than 20 in the chat, which is wild. 
but like yeah 20 is very young i mean i'm i'm 29 i'm an old man the difference between 20 and like 25 is is age not five years brain starts like fully developing by that point you know i'm 20 your discord call me a fucking boomer it's because you have a lot of boomer uh you you resemble a boomer aiden you have a job and shit it's different Woohoo being busy. Motherfucker, you literally down. like moderate AOC's chat and shit. Like you, you can't. You just can't be a zoomer at that point. You're you you carry yourself too maturely. That's not a job. I don't see you pay me for that. What you want me to pay you for moderating AOC's chat? <laughs> Fuck you, dude. No, you have a job with Twitch, is what I mean. All these little 20 year olds thinking they're old and wise? When Man, I wish I was. You heard that Russia I wish I was uh, as an extremist group 20 and years old. Them? Listen, I, I have to say this, right? You're losing viewers playing well. I I'm going to make this very clear. Anybody who is going to comment about me losing viewers playing a game or whatever, you such a sexy mods mob? immediately permaban them. My man, dude, absolutely. So I don't care if annoying. they've been a sub for a year, immediately permaban them. Viewer account and. Hey, how come people aren't fucking getting mad at this one, dude? Oh, there's a new poll. How old are you, chat? New poll! Two poll boys. We gotta do a straw poll for that though. I haven't polled my audience since like 15k. So I don't know what the fuck it looks like now. These are poison to streams. They are absolute poison to streams. Yes, I know that I will probably get less viewers playing WoW and doing a new dungeon. Bug. In WoW. I'm fully aware of that. If you're going to remind me of that and try to make me feel bad to pressure me into doing the thing that you want me to do, I would rather quit streaming. 18. Yeah, I would rather quit streaming. It is clear Victor, thank you much for the five. Give the community the subs. I appreciate that. Don't Lyric, thank you for the five. Lyric, I see. Thank yeah, we're the doing the brand new dungeons. Ones. I haven't done Just this one before. He blows. Thank you for the 10 gifted. What the fuck's going on? Why are y'all fucking gifting like a motherfucker right now? Okay. My key pipe is 22 to 25 is the largest uh, community number followed very closely by 18 to 21. And then after that is 26 to 30. And after that is 30 plus, And after that is 14 to 17. Damn, there's a lot of fucking 14 to 17 year olds in here. Holy shit, dude. 13% of the audience is 14 to 17. Um, and then 26% of the audience is 18 to 21. 27% of the audience is 22 to 25. 20% of the audience is 26 to 30. And then 30 plus is 14% of the audience. Little kids are here, so stop fucking swearing all the time. Dude, little kids have potty mouth, dude. Nine Apparently, my uncle's, like, friends, uh, their kids watch all the time, I found out. Even though Jank won't let my cousin, his son, watch me, because, um, you know, not appropriate for a seven-year-old. Remember to download the Blood Beetle Juice Center for eight-year-old. when you return to it. But, uh... Apparently he got a PlayStation 5. So now he's like playing video games, like actual video games, like Spider-Man and shit. So I can't wait for him to start watching Twitch so I can flex on him. Not on him, but like on Jank for the most part. I just want to be like, yo, what's up? Like, I want to be the cool uncle, you know what I mean? Because like when I was growing up, Jank was the coolest thing. I was like, oh my God, this is like an adult, but he's like around my... He's like a young adult and he's doing a bunch of cool Passion. shit. He's like hooking up with girls and stuff. That's crazy. So now I want to be the cool cousin, like older cousin, kind of like an uncle. You know what I mean? 
For San, you smell like pickles. You look very icky. Whenever you won't watch, watch you. You don't even play uh, uh, video games. Stiffy. That's true. But for San, please don't mold. By the end of the stream, you'll end up bald. You'd have to get oh, laid for that, though. Okay, shut the fuck up, dude. Like, he doesn't need to know that. Three months, love you, Hussein. Hassle. That's my goal, though. Like, my goal is to be the fucking cool uncle, you know? The one that swears and stuff. You'll be 41 when he turns 18, by the way. Yeah, I think I'm fucked. Like, I'm not going to be the cool uncle. I might be too old, but whatever. Last December 2020 number is 18. Under 18 was 12%. 18 to 21 was 29%. 22 to 25 was 27%. 26 to 29 was 17. So what happened? We got, like, more... We, we got more people that are under 18... And the 18 to 21% number went down. Hassle. Because of your banner, dog. Aiden is banned, so this is why. Bro, Aiden and I, Aiden oh, Ross and I do not share a fucking audience, dude. Aiden's audience is mostly normies. If anything, it's because XQC is offline and, and there's a summer break going on. That's probably why I have like a lot of little Zoomers in here Don't right now. 12 months. No, I literally do not have an overlap with Aiden Ross. Like, I don't think. Dankies. I watch both you and Aiden. Wait, really? How does that even happen? The hood doesn't watch you. Fog. Anyway, Hassan viewer writes essay after getting banned. Hello, Hassan. I was recently banned from your Twitch chat for spamming a rice gum well, video past when you told me to stop and time me out for a lenient minute. I was permanently banned. into the chat room and cannot type nor see the chat. This deeply saddens me as I enjoy typing in your chat and sending you links for that dopamine hit. Bro, Jesus, actual MLA format, dude! Oh, God. There's no one else to watch. Currently, as Forsen is playing a card. Hello, Azan. I was recently Keep banned from your Twitch chat for spamming a rice gum video. Most normal Hassan viewer. Here's your viewership overlap. What is this? Oh, it just shows like what kind of overlap I have. What is it? Like Moon Moon, 15%, Buddha, 12%, Moxie, 7%, Summit, 7%. Where's Aiden Ross? That is an overlap. It's Chad Hopper, so it's based on recent chatters, not all time. It's for GTR peers. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like not even fucking, yeah. Never been to Angus Street in East Brunswick. What are people saying? Lefties will use any excuse to write an essay. Citations, Monchek, leftist ban appeal. New meta, you must write a five page persuasive essay, MLA format. More to send means more. Oh, it's Lil Krish, of course. What do you mean his logs, motherfucker? Lil Krish, we can see your profile, lol, nephew moment. Hey, man, let me enjoy my upvote LSF fame while I can. Oh, my God, this is him? This is his fucking... Oh, my God, dude. You are... Who do you, you bitch? Lil Krish, you are such a fucking weirdo, dude. He posted himself to fucking whore out karma, dude. His logs in XQC chat LMAO. No way, dude. That's crazy. 
What do you mean his locks, motherfucker? We can see your profile, lol, nephew moment. <laughs> oh, what a dummy, dude. My logs. 27 years, Pog. Base Bank still defending his involvement. Bank Social. Bank Social has replied to say that they're not a rug pull. Summit does not like that. Doesn't like it in that area. These guys are still fucking me. Stop fucking me. In that area, just why? Ugh, it hurts, man. It hurts a lot. And these. Not even loud. Russell's take on racism. You have to help me. Thoughts on racism. Please. Racism bad. There is a way to... <laughs> That's very good. So few words, yet such a powerful message, dude. Ashes of Creation director shows Asmongold hairstyles inspired by him. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, McConnell's the one who has to heal me. He's the paladin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chat okay. won't let me live that down. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm I'm used to it. It's fine. I a paladin is this. You know, is a actually, it's fine. actually, uh, um, Asmongold. You know, I yeah. I asked my character team to provide um, some hairstyles for you, uh, <laughs> just so that you could take a look, kind of what uh, you know what we have in store, and and I don't know if. Um, <laughs> I hate when people see black people, they think of race relations like, shut the fuck up. Dude, it's not that serious, man. I, I mean, it, it is like really serious in other situations, but in this situation, it's not that serious. I promise. Like, it, it wasn't like that. Like, I think they were joking. If Pecky could provide, oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, we. I'm so really glad that we've uh, spent all this time hiring a production team well, for the show. Uh, this really is just so great. I'm, I'm glad. This is uh, really. I'm flattered, Stephen. This is incredible. Well, <laughs> well, if you just want, I mean, there, there's some subtle differences between yeah. these hairstyles. Uh, there's, there's a, a few. few of them. I yeah, love how, I love how uh, I love how he didn't know that you were a warrior, but he knew you were Paul. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> For the record, it is it is serious with respect to like you know white people constantly be like, I'm so sorry for police brutality when you see a fucking black person or some dumb shit like that, or uh, you know. Forcing every black person to be a spokesperson for black people and black issues and shit like that. It is serious then, but that was a joke. There's a difference between that and a joke. <laughs> nice. You watch Ice? No. Do you know who Ice Poseidon is? Uh, I think it's banned from Twitch. Yeah. Yep. CX in the chat, boys. Bro, you are like a full blown adult, dude. What are you doing? Come on, homie. You you got like a beard and everything. Like, what's going on, dude? That's like kind of embarrassing, dude. Has spooked. Like you're you're not like, bro. You're like you look like you lost the custody battle. You know what I mean? What the fuck's going on? Like you're just gonna fucking you're gonna be like yo CX in the chat, boys. I'm 42. Not a big deal. Like, what the fuck? Oh, man. My man's rocking Divorce Dad 92s, and he's just out here fucking throwing up Ice Poseidon memes. Your ageism is showing? I mean, bitch, I'm 30. Like, your whole stream is you trying to relate to Zoomers? No, I just have a bad brain, dude. It is underdeveloped, okay? And you're being ableist for making fun of my underdeveloped brain. Is it okay to love Also, how box? the fuck am I trying to relate to Zoomers when I literally yell about Zoomers? Like, 30% of my content is literally yelling at Zoomers for being Zoomers. I'm looking like that at 40. I will definitely... What? As sleepy. <laughs> I'm literally wearing a Grateful Dead shirt. It doesn't get more fucking boomer than this. Motherfuckers see tie-dye and they go, oh, that must be Zoomer shit. 
why I can't do this. It's on like my PS4 I, this is there is nothing me. more boomer than this than, than what I'm wearing currently. No. <laughs> anyway. To be fair, I've never listened. I've listened to one song when I went to their concert. That's it. Jake and Bake describes the messages he's still getting from Aiden Ross. The thing is, like, these, these messages you get, dude, these messages are literally, literally, like, whenever this shit happens, why don't any of these guys, like, come after me? They always, like, go after Will or they go after, like, Cutie Cinderella. Like, I never see. I seek it out, too. I'm, like, looking for shit comments. Whenever I see hate comments in my DMs and shit, it's always, like, Sand N word, you know, you will die for your crimes against uh, America. It's like, it's never like, yo, on God, for real, I'm going to put a fucking cap in your ass. And then I click on their profile and they're literally like, haven't graduated high school yet. Like, that never happens. You're too small of a streamer? No, but, like, I want to see... I want to see what these, like, little fucking Zoomer shitheads are going to see, but they never fucking do, th do it. Lookism, to be honest? What? What do you mean, lookism? Jake is literally, like, the most... average... Uh, like, he's, like, the default attractive white guy. Not average. Like he's an attractive guy, but like he's literally the default attractive white guy. You know what I mean? It's all the same. It's the it's the same four messages, and the very common one is like, like, yo, you a pussy ass bitch. Use use a rat. You bitch ass inward. Like, <laughs> look at the way he said inward. <laughs> Like he's saying inward, like going inside. Dude, Jake is so white. It's awesome. If I see you, I'm going to snap your neck, right? That's like the messages. And then like I click on the Twitter and it's like 14-year-old Fortnite YouTuber. And it, it'll say like his sub count, 16 subs on YouTube, 1.4K followers on TikTok. Damn, he's fucking view shaming. Get him! At Get him, Jake! Six months oh, oh, oh. Radicalized. What is going on, dude? There's no way! And it's true. This is actually real. These aren't bot accounts. These are real kids who are growing up and thinking that this is the right thing to do. And trust me, I've been on the internet for a while. I've done some dumb shit on the internet. But, I mean, this is kind of like a new new. And... Dude, love you has. The thing is... You count shaming kids? <laughs> but Lindy gets attacked for her chicken sandwich? No. Chicken sandwich. Mm. Defend Lindy. Oh, shit, this is good. Mm, 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 oh my god. Sandwich. Dude, cats are so just so extra. Machine is trying to make a comeback on Twitch by making himself look like the victim again. Despite Hashinshin's nonstop lies and gaslighting, he 100% got banned on Twitch because he abused the platform, among others, to prey on underage girls. Call these 15 year old girl proven account from Thanks July 2020. Predators Sorry should be banned off YouTube too. Your ex didn't get you banned. You got yourself banned by using the platform to prey on me. That's fucking insane. I don't know who the fuck Hashinshin is, but. What's your opinion on if your girlfriend is talking to guys she slept with while she's living with, sleeping with you, etc.? Um, it just depends on what their relationship looks like. Hassle. Leak streamer? Oh, God. Oh. oh, God, dude. Bro, he groomed younger women, was kind of fucked up. Hi, guy. It's lit. People are supporting him. Why are people supporting him? Oh, fucking League fans, dude. He's the guy someone confused you with like eight months ago and was on LSF. OMG.
What does this guy look like? I want to know. That's so nasty. Dude. <sighs> he just looks like a normal dude, actually. No, he does look like a normal dude. He doesn't look like that weird. Tommy, careful not to slander anyone. I'm on your side, but you're walking a fine line. Sucking. Mr. Hank Picker. He literally didn't, though. There was an FBI investigation and everything. No culpability found. She was caught photoshopping screenshots. Wait, really? Hey, F, your end of mind match with someone that says you're their ideal type on Bumble. So FBI investigation hey, hasn't first. ended. What do you I mean, the FBI is very good at catching Sorry people who are doing grooming. Norwegian. The reason this is coming up again is because Fushinshin posted another video filled with his made up narrative of how he's a real victim. <laughs> oh, God. Not the many underage girls he preyed on and asked to be unbanned on Twitch. He learned nothing and should not have a platform to abuse. Send the records and accounts of his predatory actions to any of his delusional brainwashed fans that keep spreading his lies and giving him a platform on YouTube and YouTube. What predators anyone who enables them? By the way, his is not completely clear according to the FBI. Even if you take his version of the FBI and counter our face value, it still does not mean he never did anything predatory to underage victims that proved it. And he himself admitted there's overwhelming proof. Wait, he admitted it? Another possible reason why the FBI may not be able to charge him. If all of his underage victims were from outside the United States, does that mean he suddenly wasn't a predator to multiple underage girls that were proving their experiences with him? Wait. Wait. <laughs> At FBI. <laughs> My man added FBI, dude. This is kind of funny. I'm sorry not to make light of the situation. A response to this. I hope you all watch and understand from the other perspective how fucked up this all is. <laughs> My man added FBI in the end of his thread. One of the girls he groomed was 15 years old from Sweden, which is the age of consent, so not technically illegal, but mega creepy. Dude, that is fucking insane, dude. Like... What the fuck? Okay. That's that's nuts. Oh, dude. Okay. I guess, you know, no problem there then. What the fuck? XQCL. He's over here grooming that 60 second ad break. <laughs> Fucking Christ, dude. Why did I read that out loud? What is wrong with me, dude? This is, this is just, Your I gotta stop. Hassle. I gotta stop reading dumbasses in the chat. <laughs> uh, you're just cringy, my bro, Hassan. Please, let's chill out, bro. Hashinshin, is this your alt account or something? What is this, dude? I'm just cringy, my bro. Hassan, why are you hating on this guy? Hassan, why are you shooting on McAfee? This video is literally slander. Bro, what is this? Oh, he's a libertarian defender. That's why. No, he's just, he's Mr. Libertarian Defender, dude. That's why. <laughs> he likes defending every libertarian. You know what I mean? People are hating on Misky with a screenshot of his past actions under his Aiden Ross reply. What is this? What? Misky saying the N word? Okay. Stop. I mean, uh, okay. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do about that. I don't think he's like that anymore, but.
What do you want? Let's get, let's stop getting excited by cancel culture guys. Really? No, it's always the same fucking people that are like, yo, cancel culture sucks. Except for when I can use it, dude. Okay. Cancel misgift, dude. It's time for his viewers to come over here instead. If the age of consent, dude, this is like libertarians have one speed. I swear to God. It's like, you know how we talk about how, like, white people love doing debates about, like, in a fucking time vacuum? Like, what if we were, what if the only way I could save someone's life was by screaming the N-word with a hard R? Like, would it not be acceptable for me to say then? Like, this is basically that same thing, but the arbitrary nature of age of consent laws. You know what I mean? Like, dude, the only way I could say, like... Who says that? You've never heard that? Like, white people love talking about, like, you don't want me to say the N-word? Well, what if I'm a teacher in a school what teaching about like? racism and also reading Tom Sawyer? Hmm. Got him. Hassle. If the age of consent in 100 years from now, the age of consent becomes 21, would the person who dated an 18-year-old 100 years ago be considered a predator? No. Why the fuck is the age of consent being increased to 21 in your dumbass hypothetical? Why do people like Miz? I mean, he's pretty funny. You would have to bring guests on to have Miz viewers. Yeah, I know. I, I fucking threatened Miz Gift last night. I told him if he keeps talking shit, I'm going to start fucking bringing a guest onto my broadcast. He starts talking shit. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to steal Alinity from him and Pokimane. I'm going to have both of them on at the same time. Austin doesn't count as a guest. No, I'm saying like actual guest, not Austin, who's of course a wonderful guest, but he's on regularly and Miskiff sister, Emily Renuato. This chat is becoming this one Ms. Hate TikTok. You see this clip about yours and Zerka's W streamer banners? What is this? John Zerka gets rolled by Hassan? I can't think of more of a W thing than this, to be honest. W. Look at my banner. Yo, this guy stole my fucking banner. You, you stole my banner. Fuck? You stole my fucking banner. Yo, chill, dude. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> what the fuck's this guy doing? I don't know, dude. I did, I'm running out of content, dude. <laughs> That actually works perfectly, dude. What the fuck? Look at this guy, John Zerga, also doing murder reacts. I see how it is now. Everybody's on the murder react train, dude. Lyric goes through the logs of a user that got banned for complaining about him ending stream early. Oh my god, no shot, dude. Message like a year. You actually defend Miskiff all the time, but you would have been flaming someone else who said the things he said. It's like it was 10 years ago. It's two, three years, bro. I respect you, though. No, I do defend Miskiff all the time because I think he's a good person. I don't think he's a fucking asshole. I, I think he's like, I don't know what the fuck he did in the past. I'm sure he's done a bunch of racist ass shit. He's from fucking New Jersey, of course. You know what I mean? But I don't think that's who he is now. So I don't understand the reason for why I would like continue to continue to be like, I literally, there are people in this chat that have changed in a shorter period of time. And constantly, like, putting what, constantly putting their past self and who they used to be, which is an embarrassing uh, uh, moment in time. Okay, dude, I like Miz, but he's not a good dude. Come on, dude. What do you mean? 
And when I say good, I don't, I, he's like a fucking idiot. He's a clown. But also, I don't think he's a racist person, at least anymore. But if I had a, if I had this approach, like, I wouldn't be doing what I do. If I thought that people don't have the capability to change, and if I constantly fucking judge people by what they've done in the past and not who they've become now, then I, there's no reason for me to do this at all. I think that's something that Ten we need to teach past. people that, like, listen, you might be a fucking douchebag, but, you know, you can change. And uh, people shouldn't punish you for it. Or people shouldn't constantly fucking yell uh, about what you've done in the past. Now, having said that, when I bring up things that people have done in the past, it's oftentimes to show that there's a, uh, to demonstrate that there's a pattern of behavior. There's a difference between like, there's a difference between like Ben Shapiro saying racist ass, white supremacist ass shit, and then continuing to be a right wing commentator engaging in white supremacist agitprop. Versus someone like Miskiff or uh, someone that, uh, you know, used to say like fucked up edgy shit who isn't like that anymore. You understand? You just want forgiven? Dude, I don't have shit like that. I don't give a fuck. Why do you say you just want forgiven? I mean, I wouldn't try to change people's minds here if I believe that no one is capable of changing. You understand? If you're a Hoshinshin fan and you try to come in his chat and you follow less than a month, I will perma you. Just keep your mouth shut. How magnanimous for the white man to forgive another white man for being racist? Yeah. I think you, just like I, understand that uh, we live in a white supremacist system. We live in a heteronormative, white supremacist, patriarchal system. And the social conditioning that the learned behavior that we learn from existing in a white supremacist, heteronormative, patriarchal system is white supremacist, heteronormative, patriarchal ideas. So yes, I think unlearning that sort of behavior takes time. Okay? And it takes effort. Some people are fortunate. Some people uh, are fortunate to figure that shit out early on. Especially if they grow up in a diverse environment. Others are not. So when someone does demonstrate that change, demonstrate that they uh, are, are different, defending racism because you like him, bad take. No, I'm not defending racism because I like him. I'm defending a fundamental truth that is very important to me, that people do have the capabilities of changing. And this is my, this is the way I, I advocate for change. This is my theory of change. You understand? Feel me? Corinna's 94. Hope you get it. Thank you, Hassler. White people who say they've never thought, said, done anything that had racist bias are just dumb and honestly self-reporting? Well, it's not even just fucking white people, dude. I've talked about this a million times, but look, there is an intersectionality of privilege, okay? And everyone has what I like to call privileged blind spots. Black people are capable of holding on to very bigoted points of view as well. It's all about recognizing your privileged blind spots, learning and 
you know, being better. To hold someone accountable for their past transgressions and their past mistakes uh, when we all recognize that this is a systemic issue and the reason why people behave the way that they do is a consequence of systems is kind of silly. You can say wrong take all you want until your fucking throat uh, no longer has any voice, but nope. Okay. I mean, you're a fucking idiot. You're literally a fucking idiot. And probably white, too. I can't tell from your uh, avatar, but... If you were never racist, you aren't normal, stupid as take, nice pandering to your more conservative audience. Is that what I'm saying? Why do you choose to read this in the least charitable way possible? What I'm simply stating is that you, unless you're a fucking delusional baby... And it doesn't matter if you're black, white, or whatever your background is. But no matter what your background is, you recognize that this is a white supremacist country with white supremacist fundamentals in its inception. And those attitudes still permeate through all of our institutions. We talk about this every single fucking day. Maybe you've only been around since June 26, 2021, but you're too fucking stupid to recognize that. Okay? Do you understand? So obviously, one of the problems with living under a white supremacist institution or a white supremacist system is having a lot of attitudes that dehumanize black people. That doesn't mean it's an acceptable behavior. It doesn't mean that it's an acceptable thing to do. It just simply is, okay? You recognize it, I recognize it, so why the fuck do we act like it's not that significant? I see that everyone is trying to fucking uh, bait me into running a 60-second ad break, but, but the irony, hey, by the way, this is how you teach critical race theory, motherfuckers. This is literally somewhat what Republic, way beyond what Republicans call critical race theory, but it's closer to critical race theory than whatever the fuck Republicans think is critical race theory, for the record, okay? Anyway, I'm going to run an ad now. Top of the fucking hour, okay? That's the blind spot that all you have. If someone has demonstrated that they're not different if they haven't changed at all and if they're still engaging in like fucked up engaging in fucked up behavior then that's one thing but if someone recognizes that you can avoid Three the ad breaks at the top of the hour uh, by subscribing with either a five dollar subscription or with a twitch prime then that's an entirely separate thing but i'm not even gonna fucking run a woman ad break actually i'm gonna end it on this note I have to go. I have literally a phone call that I forgot that I was supposed to do with my trainer. So about my diet. I segued regardless, but here's a three minute ad break. And this is the last one of the day. Anyway, I hope you guys understand, and it's not just his, like, you stop. You just said nope. This motherfucker just said nope and left. Like, that shit is so annoying. People just come in here to have, like, their moronic fucking takes be heard, and then they run away when there's, like, actual pushback that is reasonable. Am I crazy or this left community doesn't believe in change? No, this BBL, left, it's not BBL. this left community. It's a couple shitters in the chat. At Hasanabai, can you watch the lyric clip before you end? Why has chat been so woke, Scoldy, lately? This shit's been hella annoying. Um, 
new people, new people in the community. That's what it is. Hassle. That's literally all it is. Like, everybody understands racism is fucking wrong, dude. You're not making, like, a profound point. And, and I can't believe both of these dudes fucking ran away. That's so annoying to me. Jesus Christ. Why do people keep running away? Because they're fucking cowards, dude. That's why. They're absolute fucking pathetic little cowards. Okay? That's the reason. They just want to fucking talk shit. Easy mod check. What do you mean easy mod check, dumbass? You want to fucking ban? Is that what you want? Here. Go, there you go, you erudite dumbass. Zero timeouts. Now he has a ban. I don't know. I didn't come be a part of this community. I think that people can't don't have the capacity to change. We've been educating people for more than two years. I've seen countless people learn about their ignorance. Yeah. Chat. It's time for the three minute ad break. Pogo. Anyway, love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. And uh, twelve billion three hundred and forty five million six hundred and seventy eight thousand nine hundred and ten. Let's see. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>